Ale to rise, Ale to shine. An English adage says, Ale to bed, Ale to rise. But I say, Ale to rise, Ale to shine. John Dell of the Dell Corporation became president of that corporation at the age of 19. He now retired at the age of 40. Having built that to a fortune that is of his own class. A number of legends in the faith. Men, giants such as Kennedy again of blessed memory. Ora Roberts, Kenneth Egan, all got on their feet in their teens, 18 and 19, 18 and 19 has got changed. Most Africans live to make a living, very few live to make an impact because they are late risers. This is so important. So at the age of 19, they should not be pushing you around. Your colleagues are already presidents of corporations in other parts of the world. At the age of 20, they should not be chasing you around. Where are you? Have you slept? Very shortly in your generation, you will find people, 21, who will be president of nations. That's why your packaging must be visionary. You must have a visionary packaging. Billy Graham began his ministry at 20. He's still there. You are getting too old for a star. Get up on your feet and make your moments count. We are in a race. We are not in a phone. The earlier you enlist in the race, the greater the possibility of your stardom. It's not about hanging around. It's about making life count on a visionary platform. You don't have a spare life. Strive to make the most of this only life you have. I said some time ago, those who don't have spare tires, they don't drive rough. Anything they see, they dodge it because they don't have a spare tire to change it. You don't have a spare life, so stop driving rough. If this tire punctures, you are grounded. Stop living rough. You don't have a spare life. Stop driving carelessly. You don't have a spare life. A great man of God, Norman Vincent Peale, who wrote the book, The Power of Positive Thinking. He got ordained into ministry at the age of 18. He was an ordained minister for 75 years before he died. He pastored a church for 50 years. He wrote that book which sold 20 million copies. Every star in every generation has been an early riser. Jesus from the age of 12. Uh, from the age of 12. Don't you know I must be about my father's business? He was not a playboy. When they found him, they found him about his father's business. He was already operating in the consciousness of his mission. At the age of 12, by the age of 30, the king ascended the throne. Can I hear your amen? His mandate was delivered to authenticate the mission he was already pursuing. And then his fame erupted. His star shone forth at the age of 30. Joseph the Great, in Genesis 37 verse 2, at the age of 17, he caught a vision. And he was operating in the consciousness of that vision. So much so that when Potiphar's wife wanted to pull him down, he said, no, I know where I'm going. The Bible records that it was at the age of 17 that Joseph got his dream. Now you are 19, you have no dream. You are 20, you have no dream. You are 21, you don't even know the meaning of a dream. You don't even know where you are heading for. And by the age of 30, Joseph ascended the throne. He was 30 when he stood before Pharaoh and became the prime minister of the land. Life is not about laughing and yelling. Life is a business. You are either making losses, recording losses, or making profit. If you are older than 12 and you don't still know where you are going, 
you are not in line with Christ. From the age of 12, he knew his father's business and he was hanging around it. If you are 17 and you still don't have a bearing for your destiny, you are still you are already working behind schedule. You need to wake up. I'm privileged to be in the ministry. I have never seen any late comma in ministry that ends up a star. I've never seen one. And I love biographies a lot. How old was Michael Faraday when he struck the deal? He was a teenager. How old was Benjamin Franklin? He was a teenager. When he was spending his food money to buy books and by so doing developing himself until he became a legend. Both of them were printing and practices. Both of them taught themselves how to read and write because one of them had only two years formal education. But with a sense of mission, they gave meaning to their life. You know how many schools you have gone? Most of you are graduates already. This one didn't go to school, but with a sense of mission, they made their life to count. Michael Faraday, who never went to school, suddenly became the envy of his professor that he was a lab attendant with. He was a laboratory attendant when he emerged, a world acclaimed scientist with a sense of mission. I'm happy you are quiet. Majority of you are already behind schedule. And the reason for this meeting is to dig around you and fertilize your life and let the star in you begin to find expression. But that has to begin with getting your bearings right. According to scriptures, you are to enlist in the race latest at 20. All this I saw a vision at 50 is a delusion. My Bible said your young men shall what? See visions. You yourself know that at the age of 30, they won't enlist you in professional sports. They want you are late. You must know where you are going now and keep going there. You must know it. You must know where you are going now and keep going there. That is what the truth says. You may not like it, but that's the truth.